Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another unboxing. We are back. It's been a long time since I've been here in the Montreal studio, but we're back and today we're looking at probably one of the most anticipated products that we've ever, ever launched. It's been a long time coming, but guys, today we have our first look at the Cyberpunk 2077 PVC figures. I couldn't be more excited to get these in here, guys. I know you guys have been waiting so long for this, and today we're finally gonna take a look. This is the ultimate bundle, so stick around, and we're gonna review the entire thing. We're gonna open everything up. We're gonna check it all out. By the way, while we do the whole unboxing, we've got Johnny Silverhand's statue over here sitting and watching us. This thing is absolutely amazing. If you guys have not checked this out, go to purearts.com. There's actually a little trailer on there and you can check out this statue. It is crazy sick, so go check that out. And of course, as always guys, if you like these unboxes, if you like these reviews, don't forget to hit the like button and uh, help us grow the channel. And of course, make sure you're subscribed. You've obviously subscribed by now, right? And of course, hit the bell notification. That way you know when we posted a new unboxing. All right, let us proceed. So these figures, these articulated figures have obviously gone through a lot of work, guys. We've done a lot of retooling. We've done a lot of work to manufacture these to be as, as reliable, as cool, and as functional as possible. Uh, and they are limited to 2,077 units total. And again, this is the ultimate bundle. So this is the super bundle that comes with everything. So it, it comes with the V-male, the female, and the bike, okay? So we're gonna crack it all open and I think I think we're gonna start with the bike. Let's get the bike open and then we can pose these guys on top of it, all right? So we'll start off with the bike. Starting off with Yaiba Kusanagi, and believe me guys, I had to practice that 50 times before shooting this video to say it in one shot like that. Um, but we'll start it off. Now the packaging on this is really, really cool. It actually comes with a transparent sleeve. Check this out. So it's got the transparent sleeve uh, made out of this really thick plastic and it's got sort of this etched bike engraving on here we've got the logo on the back this is just just this is really cool so there you go that's the sleeve just the sleeve is a piece of artwork and then we've got our retail box of course this all comes shipped in one single box so if you get the ultimate bundle it all comes packaged together if you get just the figure um, then it'll come in its own shipping box and if you get the figure and bike bundle so you can get v female or v male with a bike uh, that also comes in its own packaging so all this will come in the same box okay so let's crack this open and let's uh, take a peek what's going on in here all right i'll come out of there clamshell packaging i'm going to put these things down First of all, I mean, look at the size of this thing. It's huge, very heavy as well. This actually does have die cast parts to it. Uh, so it is a mixed medium. Oh man, this thing is so cool. All right, let's see. Gonna, oh, it's tape right here. Don't mind the tape. There we go. There we go. Down here. There's the bike. He's got his little foot peg right here. Oh, this thing is awesome, guys. Check this out. Or right, he got fully functional wheels. Got his little kickstand. And we've got full lights on here as well. So you've got a secret little button here. Remember I tell you guys in all of our videos, anytime there's lights or sounds or anything like that, the button is always blended in really well to the piece. So in this particular case, it's right here. And there you've got the full headlights. We'll zoom in on this afterwards. You can check it out. The, uh, the console, the dashboard also lights up and as does the tail light. Very, very, very cool. So again, this is one six scale. It's got all the decals, all the artwork that uh, are seen in the game. You've even got the bluing from the heat on the pipes. You've got little mud speckles all over here as well as on the rear fender. It's just a very, very realistic looking paint job to it. It looks absolutely stunning. Very, very nice. You guys, we're gonna get some close-ups of this later. It's gonna look awesome. Very cool. All right, let's take a look at the figures. All right, we're gonna start off with V female. Carefully going to put the bike over here. So again, we've got that clear, transparent sleeve. I love this, what a great design. Really, really cool, check that out. Very neat, okay. So, we got that, that here. Let's crack this open. 
And again, guys, this is gonna be shipping end of Q2, okay? So I know it's been delayed and we have been working very hard to get this back on track for you guys. Um, and so I know it has been a little delayed, but we are almost there, guys. Almost there, I promise. And uh, this is actually the first of the uh, figure lines that are gonna be coming out. And then after that, we've got all of our other figure lines coming out as well. So Ghost Recon, Rainbow Six, all that good stuff will be coming out as well. Okay, so again, clamshell style. So there she is, right in there, cool. And the bottom section has the base parts. So let's get the base out first. I like the way they do the clamshells. Everything is sort of all pancaked and layered together. There we go. Put this over here. All right, so let's get the base out. So that's the base. You can see the detailing on the base right there. So it's not just a regular flat plastic uh, base. It's actually got all the cyberpunk detailing on it, the logo and everything. And then you've got sort of that standard clip that goes in here to, uh, to hold the figure. So in here, you've got all the different pairs of hands that fit the gun, all the standard hands, the arms. Uh, you've, got the, you've got the different guns, including the Kang Tao G58. Um, so yeah, let's get her out of here. Let's take a look at this. So we'll get some close-ups on here. Um, so while I'm speaking, you can check things out. Uh, but she comes with the faux leather jacket. Now, people have asked if it, is it real leather? Is this a real leather jacket? And it's not. Um, real leather is actually way too thick to work in, so that's why it needs to be a synthetic, a very thin uh, synthetic leather. So uh, that's why it's done that way. So everything is hand-stitched, the pants, um, and she's got the boots and everything, the chains. It's really a mixed medium, which is cool. So you've got a mix of the PVC uh, parts as well as the actual clothing that's been stitched together. So it's like incredibly lifelike, really detailed. And she's even got a chain belt hanging off of here. Um, and this actually has over 30 points of articulation, okay? So she's super posable. You know, she can be moved in all kinds of different directions. And she's got the hands and elbow joints, hand joints. I mean, she can really, really be posed. So here we can get her up on the motorcycle and ride the bike. I don't want to sit here goofing off with it the entire time, but we can get her up on the motorcycle. So super, super posable. Um, and the hands can be popped out. You can place them, change the arms. So let me show you all the different accessories that are in the box, because it's just incredible how many little pieces come in here. Oh, and of course, we can't forget the collar. So the collars light up. Um, I've got these super bright studio lights, like give me a tan right now. Uh, so you might not see it all that great, but there's a little hidden switch right here in the collar that goes up and down. So when you move it up, you get the lights. And again, we'll get some close-ups on that. And when you switch it down, the lights shut off. So you guys can check that out after no one's there. Okay, so I've already actually got her posed here. I went and switched one of her hands and I've got the pistol in her hand. Um, and you can also switch out the arms. And again, we'd have to get a close up of this, but she's got her, uh, cause she's super strong. She's got like gor gor the gorilla arm thing going on and her hands actually extend. So this actually opens up just like in the game. And you've got different poses on her. So you can pop the hands off and just change the hands. Let's see if I make sure I get the right kind of hand. Here we go. There's that. All right, so here I've got her posed with the other gun. Choo, 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 choo. Pro tip, when you want to pose it on weapons, take the hands off, put the hand on the weapon first, like this, and then go ahead and pop the, uh, pop the hand on. And again, you can switch out the arms as well. I'm not gonna start taking all the jacket off, but I mean, obviously she's got full clothing uh, with the cotton shirt underneath. And uh, yeah, so let's put her aside and let's get the mail out. All right, next up, the mail. Go. I can't get over these boxes. Just the boxes are pieces of art. Honestly, if I were to display this in my display case at home, I'd actually have the box standing in the case with the figures right next to it because it just looks so good. So same principle, you've got the stacked clamshells. Uh, let's get the base out. I want to show you guys something first. So standard in the ultimate bundle, if I can get this out of here, there we go is the Militech Spider-Bot right here. So every Ultimate Bundle actually comes with the Militech Spider-Bot, which you can see here, and it looks really, really cool. 
Now this comes standard in every single bundle, uh, as well as the uh, V-male or V-female bundles with a bike. And the first 250 people that ordered just the figure will also get that uh, spider -Man. I believe they're already, they're already filled out, they've already sold out. But again, if you get the ultimate bundle or any of the smaller bundles, you will get the spider as well. And I mean, he looks super cool. We'll zoom in on him. He looks absolutely awesome. And once again, same thing with the base. You get that really cool detailed base like that. All right, let's get V-Mail out. All right, so same setup. You got all the accessories in here. So let's get him out and show him off. Is. Now what's cool about this is you've got the light up collar. You can see it going on and off here. What's neat about these guys is he's got his little sneakers on here. And the sneakers actually light up as well. There's these little switches that are right here, little toggle switches. You just turn it on, you just gotta get your fingernail in there to turn it on. In there. And I don't know if you guys can see that. You can see those, they light up. So sneakers actually have some lights in there. So when he's not on his bike and he's just going out for a jog, it's great for visibility, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, really, really cool the little light up features on there. Uh, and let's check out his weapons because he's got a big mofo gun going on over here. Check this out. Check out this bad boy. This is a Constitutional Arms M2067 Defender. I don't know how powerful this thing but I, is, but I assume it does a lot of damage. And so he can be posed with this. He also has his pistol. There you go, there's the Mantis blade. Very cool, so you just pop the arm out, that goes in there as well. So let's get his hand on here, and we'll put his finger on the trigger so he's ready to roll. All right, let's get his hand out of here, and we will pose him. All right, let's put his hand the right way, first of all. There we go. There he is. Boom. Check that out. Very cool. Actually, you can deploy a little dual stand down there. That looks cool. And of course, he can hold it. You can repose his hands so he can hold it. There you go. Very nice. Cool. All right. So we've got three pairs of hands. Each have the two weapons. They're weaponized arms, just like in the game, the stands. And uh, now let's pose one and put him on the motorcycle here. All right. All right, guys, there you go. That's it. I've got him post him on the bike. So he's chilling on the bike. She's getting ready to shoot somebody. We can see all the different accessories that are here. And of course, we've got these amazing art boxes. Guys, so go and check this out. You can go to purearts.com and uh, go into the Cyberpunk collection. And you can see all of these licensed collectibles from City Project Red. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077. So you've got the ultimate bundle that has everything here. You can get the V female or V male uh, only, or you can get V female with the bike or V male with the bike. Uh, and those all include, except for this, just the figures by themselves, they all include the spider bot that you got right here. All right, so go on the site, go check it out. There's also a video trailer there. Um, and uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Again, we are super excited to bring these out to you. We are producing these right now. They are literally being pressed, painted, stitched, and are gonna be coming out very, very soon. We've got just a couple more months to go, and uh, they will be shipping. So look for these in summer 2021, and uh, go on the site and go check it out. You can get your own, all right? Thanks so much, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this unboxing. As always, please hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Uh, and if you like Cyberpunk, and of course, let us know which one's your favorite, which figures you prefer. Did you order yours? Did you get it with the bike? Let us know in the comments below, okay, guys? Thanks so much, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care, bye.